So, I was actually about to record a different video when I came across something that I just knew I had to show you guys. So in a recent video that got a good amount of love from you guys, thank you for that, I appreciate it. We talked about somebody who was arrested by a police officer and that someone happened to be a Karen. But in this video, here is what happens when the Karen is in fact the police officer. It's a dude, so I guess, would it be Kevin? Karen? Kevin? I don't know. We'll call him, we'll just call him Kevin, I guess. But here we go. Hello. Hey, I'm Trooper Rummer with the state police. I nice got a little microphone. You. Nice to Can record you. our conversation, okay? Yes, sir. The reason I'm stopping you is because you don't have any license plates on this car. Oh, okay. Any reason for that? Uh, I'm from Dubai. It's my license plate right there. Okay, but you're not in Dubai. You're... I'm visiting as a tourist. Well, no, you're not visiting as a tourist if you brought a car with you. Uh, okay. Well Okay, there's already some problems. You can already tell from the first like 15 seconds of this video that the officer is actually not in fact listening to a word the guy is saying. He says, yes sir, I'm from Dubai. My license plate's right here. He's like, no, <laughs> no it's not. Okay, well, do you have your driver's license with you? Yeah, of course. Uh, how it works is uh, we ship uh, the cars, we get a permit. and You we... don't have a permit. Well, you need- There we go. You see that? He says, what we do is we get a permit and he says, you don't have a permit. Officer, o officer, 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 calm down. All right, calm down. How do you know he doesn't have a permit? How do you know? If he hasn't provided you with it yet. You've been in this conversation for 33 seconds. You have not given him time to provide you with the registration or the permit or his license or anything. You're 30 seconds in. There's a carnet. What's that? A carnet. It's, it's a very rare thing. I know you're confused, but uh, we no, fly No, I'm them. not confused. If you want to drive this car, <laughs> yeah. you have to have a license plate from somewhere in the United States. I am not confused. Okay? I'm not confused. He's so defensive already, dude. I think he's just jealous this guy has a Lamborghini, and he doesn't. For a trip permit, which you don't have. Do you have your driver's license with you? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, the way it works is, uh, we, uh, get an EPA exemption. Pardon me? A EPA exemption. And then, uh, a carnet de massage. Do you have any of that? Of course, yeah. I'm gonna you, provide you, everything. Do you have something that says you can drive this car on the road? Yes, sir. Let's take a look at that. Of course. So, it's gonna be a lot of documents, so I'll give you one by one. Because I think what you're talking about is the ability to import this. And what I'm talking about is registering it. No, no, well, uh... Um, you have your driver's license with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to answer your questions. Uh, well, it's a temporary thing. I'm visiting as a tourist. I can't and hear I'm, you. It's a temporary import. It's a then, what? It's a temporary import. <laughs> it's not a permanent thing. We fly our cars here, we do our trips, and we fly them back. That's how it works. I know it's com He's got the cotton in his ears, dude. This officer does. He's got cotton in his ears. Confusing, but no, it's, it's not confusing. It's very simple. No, no, All so, right. uh, it's not confusing. Even though I have no idea what you're talking about, and you've surprised me at every turn with your fast wit and actually knowing what you're talking about, it's not confusing. If you have some sort of import, yeah. that, that's to get it into the country. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Let me know. see what you have that says you can drive it on the road in Oregon. You understand a second. Pardon me? You're gonna, you're gonna understand in a second. Uh, gonna, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Hasn't even seen the documents yet. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about right now. Even though you haven't showed me a single paper. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about right now. So, this is my permit. It's an international federal agreement. Okay. And... I'm going to provide you with a uh, driver's license in a second. Do you have your insurance with you? Yes, sir. This guy should not have a job. Are you kidding me? He just goes on a big old spiel. I'm not confused. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I'm talking about. He gives him the papers. He doesn't give him a... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes sense. You're right. You're right. He asks for the papers. He gives him the papers. He asks for the license. He's still in the middle of giving him the driver's license. He hasn't even got the license yet. And he goes... Do you have your insurance with you? It's Really? Really, dude? Really? He's the type of dude who, when he was in school, he was probably a hall monitor or a safety patrol and thought that it made him really cool. 
So this would be the international driver's license, which they come as a package. There you go. The other part is inside as well. This would be the registration of the vehicle. What is this? The registration of the vehicle. Okay. What is this? What, what I need is proof of insurance. Sure. This is. So the. This, uh, says, this is Canada? Okay. No, no, sorry. So this is uh, UAE. I need your insurance. All right. Why are you so Doesn't defensive? Even I'm trying to, me? Why are you so defensive? I'm trying to. No, I'm just asking for these documents and you won't. Quit talking about other stuff. No, sir. I provide you everything I you asked for. I want your insurance, okay? I provide. I don't, I don't need anything else right now. Sure, sure. You just asked me for the document. Pardon me. You just asked for a document. I provided you, and I'm gonna provide you the insurance in a second, sir. Just give me a second. Why don't you keep working on that, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Sure, sure. Oh, here we go. I found another half of this uh, video on YouTube, so let's uh, check out the rest of this. Wow, what's wrong with this guy? He hasn't even realized the steering wheel. <laughs> I took it off like the Mr. Bean steering wheel. That's funny. This is going to be interesting. Did you find your insurance? Yes, sir. There you go. Notice a little thing on his arm says Senior Trooper. Yeah, it should say a uh, senile trooper. This is not insurance. Sir, on the bottom, you can read it. It's insurance. The policy number is there as well. Where are you taking this car? I'm going to Canada. We're going where? I'm going to Canada, Vancouver. Can we talk about the fact that this man just looked at an insurance policy and said, This is not insurance. How do you put your pants on in the morning, dude? <laughs> Guarantee he's got his shoes on the wrong feet right now. Uh, this man is an absolute train wreck. Where, where did you, where did you import the car into? From Canada. I drove it in here. I do a road trip every two years. You do a what trip? Imagine you want to drive your car in Europe. What do you do? You ship your car there. You drive it for a month and you ship it back. No, that's not, that's not what I do. Okay, look. <laughs> You. What is your question, officer? I can answer your question. Look. Yes, sir. Here, here's your stuff here. You got to get a temporary permit, okay? I have another call I have to go to. Sir. Be you safe pulling out into it's, traffic. It's a federal law. You don't know the law. <laughs> what the? What the? <laughs> I have another call that was priceless. <laughs> there he goes. He just gave up on life. You have to have a present that you're just telling. What did he even talk about? What was wrong with that guy? He was trying so hard to get that guy on anything he could possibly find. Doesn't admit that he's wrong. Gives him a vague instruction that he has to have a permit, even though he's got all the proper documentation. And by the way, if he had broken a law, that officer could not just leave the scene to go to another call. It's like, oh, sorry, uh, you're my side chick in terms of uh, priority level, and my main chick just called, so I gotta go. So incredibly unprofessional, gave him no resolution, didn't give him time to respond even, just an absolute train wreck, yeah. That guy's hopes and dreams got crushed, though. Very satisfying to see him try so hard to pin anything on the guy and fail miserably.